Stacy Turtle Dove. How's everyone going? I'm doing well. I have been out uh, to visit my mum and sister today, but on the way I stopped at a couple of op shops. I want to do a few uh, projects over the summertime, so yeah, I've been watching uh, a couple of videos uh, with tiered plates and such, so I thought I might like to try my hand at that. But anyway, I'll show you what I've got. Now, the first lot I think I'll show you is from Savers. It's a quite a big store. By this time next year, I want to have a little coffee station right over there in the corner next to my buffet table. Um, so, I still need to buy the cabinet, so I'm going to be on the lookout in the next year for just an old, um, maybe like a cabinet with a, a shelf and then some drawers underneath or something like that. And then I can put the coffee maker that's behind me over there. And I've come across this a nice little wooden bowl on a pedestal and this was $3.99, so basically $4.00. And I remember doing this in high school, using a wooden lathe, making my own bowl. But I thought I would do that up and give it a nice paint um, and a weathered look maybe. And maybe use some texture paint, I'm not sure. But I definitely will paint this. And I thought this could go on the coffee station and I can put all my coffee pots in that. So that's the first project. I have to do, well I've basically got a year to do that, so I would love a coffee station by this time next year. So that's the first thing, I'll put that over there, from Savers. The next thing is this pretty plate, sort of a square plate, and it has a lot of gold flowers on the outside. I don't know, I'm a bit further away from the camera today because um, I thought you'd be able to see my face for a change. Now this is Staffordshire Elijah Cotton Lord Nelson Ware from England. So it's a really nice plate. Perhaps I'll just walk over to the camera and show you close up on this one. So see all the beautiful gold detail on the edge and then a beautiful rose flower in the centre. So that was, uh, no, I think this was $2.99. It was the same as this. No, $3.99. So yeah, $4 that one. And I can leave it as is, um, or I could put a pedestal under it by using a glass vase or something like that. So I'm not sure what I'll do with that one, but I like that. So I bought it. Now another project I want to do, look what I got. This beautiful um, basket, woven basket. And it has the, the wood underneath, so this is a few years old, it's quite vintage actually. Um, but it's plain at the bottom and I thought I could put that on a coffee table or around the side table somewhere and then just put some books in there or whatever, but before I do that I would like to decoupage the inside, the bottom part of that. So I think that would be a really good project to do as well. So I might decoupage some napkins over that or might order in some tissue paper, uh, just really, really fine paper and put that down or I could even paint something on it. I could do some folk art paint, might paint some flowers, roses. I'm not sure, but that's what I want to use it for. And this is in really good condition. So, this isn't the cane weave, um, it's that plastic stuff that they used to use in the 70s and I don't know what it's called but everything is in great condition. I'm not sure how old that is but it is in good condition. So 
that's another project and then lastly from Savers I bought these two glass vases so I can use that as feet for a tiered project that I'll talk to you about and they're worth $2.99 each or you can use uh, like wooden candlesticks which they didn't have any I was actually looking for that first and that's why I ended up buying this <laughs> Okay, so that's Savers, and I also went to Salvation Army, and I bought some more glassware, and I will explain more what I can do with this, and I might adjust the camera so you can see. Okay, that way you can see a little bit uh, better. Okay, fun salvos. First off, I bought these two handmade doilies. And they were 50 cents each. Very pretty. And I can use those for putting on a dish. Or anywhere in the house. I could use it for journaling or whatever. I can also dye this if I want to. But I thought it was just a really pretty pattern. So I'll put that over there. 50 cents each. They did have another bundle there but I just thought I'd stop it too. Then I came across these plates. Now the top one said four and the other two said two. So I took it to the front and showed uh, the lady working there. And so I got the third one for two because they're exactly the same. So two dollars each, six bucks for the three of them. And what I was thinking, I know they're not, um, that I know they're the same size. A lot of the time when you tear things like this, they start from the large and work up to the smaller size, but I think this is still going to work using the one size. So what I was thinking was to use these two vases. They're actually crystal for a dollar each. I used to, I think I still got them actually. I may have sent them to the op shops myself a few years back when we moved home, but never really used them much they were in a nice cabinet but what you do is you glue pieces like this together like so that's it we have the bottom one like that <laughs> and can you see all right yep now i don't want to break these so i can offset them so that they're not or I can keep them the same position. I think it'll look nice offset. So you just centre them and use some really, really good glue. And then you have a beautiful tiered stand. And I was thinking this would look really nice in my bedroom. And I can put jewellery and rings on there. The sort of stuff that I use more every day. could just do the one and then have a single one a little bit lower like so and then you can embellish it with all sorts of beautiful pearls and metal um, or just leave it as is so that's that so I thought two dollars each I thought that was good and Thought another thing you could do with this one which was I don't know I think this was $2.99 as well this has got a lid and I think I'll use these vases for the these glasses or these plates now with this one I can almost make a lamp with it so I can glue two together like that and glue that one on the top. I can put some of those little LED battery operated lights in here. Put the lid on and you've got a little lamp. Then I can embellish the joins with some nice pearls or something. 
so yeah that's a couple of projects that I will be doing so I just wanted to gather up some plates and different vases and see what I come up with so that is my op shop haul today so yeah I'm not going to put any time limits on when I will finish these projects I'm just going to do it at my leisure um, I think the first one might be this wooden little wooden bowl on the stand and then I might try the decoupage and I'll do this glassware last because I want to do some more research and watch some YouTube channels and see how others make these little tiered glass plates and I do really like this plate here which I don't think I'll put any feet on there Maybe if I find some brass feet and I can make this be a beautiful little cheese plate or something like that or just for some cake. I can make a tiny little stand for it. So anyway that's something to look forward to over the summer months for me and I'll be sure to show you the finished items when they get done. So thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've done anything like that before or you've you know used this glassware um, for making lamps and things like that. Okay, take care everybody, look after yourselves and have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.